Hey everyone. So I thought we would do something uh, different, something fun today, um, and go over some of the products that I purchased up in Montana. Um, went to a really cool art show, like I said yesterday, and um, they had a lot of really interesting artists there. Lots of cool jewelry and um, bath products and food products and all kinds of stuff. So thought I would share a little bit with you guys about what I got there in case you want to look for something different, um, not so mainstream, as um, it's kind of cool to find out about obscure um, products so that you can have something that's a little bit um, not so popular that everybody else has. So thought I would sh go ahead and show you guys some of the things. Um, where is it? went to one really cool uh, stand and it was called Wind Drift Hill and at the end of the video I'll go ahead and write out the websites for you just so that I don't have to sit here and spell them out you know or, or just make sure we have every letter you know correctly so um, but the company was called Wind Drift Hill and the website you can go to to check out their products is winddrifthill.com and they had a lot of goat milk products such as soaps, body butters, lotions, body oils, bath salts, lip tints and balms and accessories and gift baskets so a lot of their stuff um, is natural and has goat milk and you, if you do go to their site you've got to check out the About Us links about the company and maybe products or something else. Like There's two links that say About Us and you have to check it out because they show a lot of really cool scenery in Montana which I thought was really nice but anywho um, I got a couple soaps there. Most of their stuff was wrapped. I got the unwrapped ones because me being frugal like I am and because this was not a gift to anyone but myself um, I didn't buy the ones that had the fancy packaging on it. Well, in a way, I wish I, sh I did because I, I remember from, from memory, I know what this one is, what, it, what scent it is, but I don't remember what scent this one was. Sorry. But it um, smells really good. Um, anyway, so this one was the cinnamon bar right here, and um, they, feel, they feel really good. I can't wait to try them out, and they smell great. And knowing that they're natural products um, really gives me an incentive to try them, but this one is like a purplish color, it smells sort of like, kind of like huckleberry to me, or some kind of raspberry scent, so anyway, I uh, wish I remember the name of them, but they have, several, you know, all kinds to choose from, it smells really, really good, um, so you've got to go to their site at, um, what did I say it was, windrifthill.com, was that right, yep, and um, check out their stuff, that was um, really cool to try out some different bath products there. Um, another one, and this was my favorite thing I purchased there because it'll stay with me forever, um, is some jewelry from Lisa's Creations. She was the best, for I thought she was the best jeweler there because she had a lot of, she had a line that, that I liked particularly because it had a lot of meaning, jewelry with meaning to it. And um, the one I, and her stuff was really, really well made, I thought. And, um, anyway, the one that I ended up purchasing, um, had three charms on it, and it says serenity, charity, and kindness, and I think that's really great, um, I love being calm and relaxed and, uh, going pl to places that are calm and relaxing and being around people that are calm and relaxing, and I really love, um, trying to give to other people, which I think is great charity, and, and kindness, I think, is the least we can do to each other is be good to others. So this bracelet really, really means a lot to me, and I've been wearing it every day. So if you, they also had religious products. Um, let me see. I think I wrote some of it down. What the website has? Yeah. Um, you go to the website. It's the website is lisascreations.com. Here's her business card. I don't know if you guys can see that. But they had earrings, necklaces, bracelets, anklets, religious jewelry, jewelry with meaning, turquoise. Stuff. So, anyway, that was a really fun site to go to. They also had some bridal jewelry, some earrings on there that I thought were really pretty. But, anyway, so that was that. Lisa's Creations. That was a lot of fun. Um, also, I got another soap. It was um, Grizzly Mountain Soaps, and it's made out of buffalo tallow. And it's all natural as well. I got the almond scent. And I like the way they package it. It's really cute. Um... You can actually go to a website that is called MontanaMadeOnline.com, and it has a lot of local um, suppliers there that do supply all kinds of things, um, and Grizzly Mountain Soaps is one of them. Um, but on that site, MontanaMadeOnline.com, 
they have a lot of natural product, products or producers, suppliers featured there. Uh, food, soap, a lot of huckleberry products that's like huge in Montana. Anything and everything is huckleberry. Um, let's see, organic cheese um, and buffalo jerky and buffalo sausage. So if you guys are ever in the mood to try something different, you might want to check that side out. But um, anyway, this definitely has, I mean, the soap, the ingredients are pure buffalo tallow, mountain river water, coconut oil, sodium hydroxide, scent, and olive oil. So it's all natural ingredients. And I really like the smell of it, too. It makes me want to eat it. So <laughs> um, Also, I went and got this lip balm. And it's really good, very greasy, and it came in handy for me up there because the air was so dry um, that I really needed, you know, a chapstick that was, this is much greasier even than regular chapsticks, so for, and it tastes good too. It's a huckleberry flavor, and the company is called um, the Huckleberry Patch in Hungry Horse, Montana. So uh, you can go online to huckleberrypatch.com and check out all their products. Everything, of course, smells like huckleberries. They have canned goods, baked goods and sweets, gourmet foods, body and bath products, scented candles, and gift baskets. So if you guys are in the, ever in the mood to try anything, huckleberry, I love huckleberry. I mean, there were huckleberry pies there. They taste to me like a cross between raspberries and blueberries. Um, very good. Very, very good. It smells good. They huckleberries taste good. They must grow like wildfire up there in Montana. So anyway, that's fun. If you like huckleberry stuff, you might want to check out that site. Also, I got some Eva Gates, uh, Eva Gates homemade preserves, and of course they were huckleberry. So I can't wait to eat that. And last but not least, my favorite chocolate, 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 chocolate covered huckleberries in Montana. Got this at a cute little store in uh, downtown Big Fork. Can't remember the name of it, and I looked all over the box, and it doesn't have the name. But anyway, if you're ever in the mood, this is like my favorite thing. There is the chocolate covered huckleberries. So very, very good stuff. Um, and I got some other things too that aren't really beauty related or food related. But um, you know, I always get a shot glass everywhere I go. So got a Montana shot glass, and I got some gifts for my mom and things like that. But anyway, um, hope you guys. Check out the sites. If you're looking for something different or to try something new, or if you ever go to Montana, um, I guess they have that art festival, you know, first week in August sometimes. So lots of really neat, cool stuff. They had all kinds of things there. So anyway, but tomorrow, guys, I'm going to do a Megan Fox-inspired video. There was a picture of her with um, uh, purple eyeshadow that I thought was really gorgeous. And it was something that you can wear every day. So I'm going to post that tomorrow around 2 o'clock, and let's see, I guess that's it. Oh, and then next Tuesday, because you know how I post Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursdays, next Tuesday I might do a small, little, quick slideshow um, about Montana. So if you guys who are interesting, interested in traveling or are curious, um, you can see what Montana is all about and, um, you know, places to go and things to do there. So anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow at around 2. Bye.